Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the new ways mod. I was just checking out mods. I checked out a couple like beyond nerf and some funny Ukrainian mods and it, I feel like I just I needed to play some good old World War 2 but not necessarily this World War 2 per se but just you know the the fun kind. And oh yeah uh, uh, don't look at that. Ladies and gentlemen welcome to World War 2 Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as Germany and I decided I am just gonna play a regular game as Germany but there's gonna be a little bit of a twist just a teeny Tiny one, and that involves well uh, opposing Schmitty himself. Now again, this mod is the new ways, which adds a couple new, a bunch of new ideologies, and more particularly, really cool focuses. Let's look at Turkey. Would you look at that? Would you rather play base game Turkey, where everything is 70 days, or this one, where everything is also 70? You know what? Uh, never mind. <clears throat> I think a better good one example is uh, British Palestine. See what? Well, We'll go here. It's led by a guy named Arthur, and you can do cool stuff like, uh, um, um, uh, you can, um, you can, you can play as, uh, Newfoundland, um, and you can be led by someone named David, and you can do really cool stuff like, uh, well, uh, the hell can you do as Newfoundland? The Cod War? Are you serious? Look, uh, the point I'm trying to make is that you could do cool stuff. Like, a uh, 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 post me. So, again, this is going to be a Germany playthrough with a little twist. Apparently, you can get in a couple more radical factions of the, well, German right and left sides of politics at this time. So we're going to continue. I'm going to build up a few factories and show you off a little cool stuff. Ugh, Ernest Thalman. Let's just uh, kick him out. Of here. Let's get him out of here. We only got one crazy guy in power. And, uh, well, uh, we got to kind of remilitarize. Right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, what on earth is that? Well, shoot, ladies and gentlemen, we have a civil war upon us, which means we are going to have a blank slate. Oh, boy. Monarchist Germany, Ludwig back. Apparently our legitimacy has been reduced. What on earth? You're trying... No, we don't need legitimacy. We just need the power of uh, uh, Ludwig back in Heinz Guderian. Oh, did we not get Rommel with us? Ouch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me just cross this over and a little bit of a coup time. You know, I think this one is cool because it's a lot, it's a lot more simple. Like, this is an officer coup. This isn't just return of the Kaiser. You know what I mean? You can you can hand power over the reformers, uh, imperial constitution, or or start going a little crazy. But you know that that, that, that that's not what this is about. See, we're gonna we're trying to re fix Germany, guys. Come on, and then fix the world. The beginning, the Nazi party. Huh? Uh, I mean the uh, the uh, Noodle Party had only two things: a right wing and a left wing. But after the night of the long schedoodles, where the main leaders of the socialist faction of the NSDAP and the NSA stormtroopers and command were murdered, yeah, that gay guy, I remember him. However, one important functionary of the party, Otto Strasser, has survived. No. Yes. I am going crazy, ladies and gentlemen, which is not unlike of me. I'm ready to wreak havoc and put in my radical ideology. It says somewhere in our very long manifesto about what the world, dream world should be like. And of course, it usually doesn't take into account actual politics, but don't worry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We have a radical war to win. <laughs> is this... <laughs> Is, you know, is uh, Dresden really where the heart of the Black Front Strassers are? Oh, and that's a, that's a half bad looking portrait. Oh boy, it still finishes though, sorry about that. <clears throat> Ultimate group, boom! Would you look at that? Maybe another time I can do something wholesome like reforming my government. But uh, for now, we have a, again, civil war to win. Tiny little Berlin to capture. Let's at least get our hands on Munich first, right? This probably be good. I have a. I'm kind of scared that. You know what? Never mind. It was going to be like. We may fail this, but uh, with the Red Front, that's certainly going to take people's attention off. Yeah, yeah, we can build all this other cool stuff like armored cars because we have a armored car division in here. But uh, we need guns, first of all, to throw men into the mix. Love. Okay, you know what? Two <laughs> two divisions it is, ladies and gentlemen. No! Esoteric. Was he really esoteric? That's funny. Oh, no. This guy's esoteric. Mm. Gotcha. Okay, good to know. You know, they really did. They really did do a no. We really, I, 
I did a number on Germany this time around now, didn't I? Bro gets pissed off because he's only been in power three years that when we come to say, all right, step out of line, he shoots him. Oh, come on. What a cry, baby. Not like Ludwig Beck, though. Actually, no, he's still a bitter loser. Ah, uh, yes, as one Redditor once said, when the revolu when the Nazville Revolution comes, the Schmittlerites do not stand a chance. Uh, ooh, you should probably fall back there. That's kind of, that's kind of creepy. Uh, okay, yes, so we are attempting to unify our collaborative governments against them, particularly being the Schmittlerites, and yeah, I kind of, uh, I kind of get the feeling this is going to be a bit of a hard battle to win here. I might need to uh, switch to, like, yeah, okay. Anything I can do here, I can I can hold a military parade. Yahoo! Actually, that probably is useful because I'm not, I'm not building anything at the moment, if you couldn't tell. I'm kind of in my destruction era. All right, I'm making the strategic decision to retreat from Munich. I can't possibly wish to hold this. And I couldn't get that tank division out, no matter what I tried. So I really, like, seriously, like, what? Okay, maybe if I hold off for a few more days, I can kill it. But, like, what is it? It's re you're, you're the one who's encircled, not me. Not for much longer. Okay, you know what? Sorry, uh, you're gonna get killed by the, you know, the Bex forces, probably not even mine, so. Oh, shit. You know, as they say in the business, ouchies. Don't worry, I got whatever that is. I feel like uh, someone should probably tell them that he's dead. Dude, we are so thinly stretched. I, I don't know what railroad, I can't even build, you think I'm gonna build railroads with four, th four things a month? Yeah, 60, all right, 28, you know, that isn't, we kind of do really need them, so yeah, let's pump those numbers up, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, you have to go die in battle so you can go to Agartha or whatever we believe in. Believe me, when, when, when I see those memes, I find myself looking on Wikipedia to figure out what the hell Agartha is. Well, from what I gathered, it's where Schmidt went in 1945, so I, I, th I thought Agartha was just Lithuania or something, but no. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we have a couple red... Uncharacteristically, uncharacteristically red guys and whatever that uniform is and lots of black divisions yeah agitation oh come on well i'm trying to debate who looks cooler this schizophrenic old guy or this i think he's slightly less schizophrenic because he tries making a fat uh fun cool faction of everyone but still probably has nightmares and sleepwalks so he's probably gotta be stuck uh, bu -bu yeah, uh, bye bye. Oopsies. No, uh, to be honest, I might just use a little consec man trickery to get some of this too, because it seems cool and funny. Oh well, I I've checked out some pretty sus mods in my timeline. Really, really sus mods, which I kind of regret. But I um, at least they got me money, so I made money off of those losers. Uh, ooh, I get an encirclement, and it's been reduced. Why? Is it because I, I'm making I'm making counter attacks? Don't, don't give me that look. Yeah, let's concentrate on sh the, uh, the sh schmittler like forces, I suppose. There we go. Hi, I should be fine. I don't know what the game plan is. I, maybe I should probably try to encircle off, uh, this is, uh, hold on. Baden? West of... I, see, I was close, I was close, I was close. This is West, West has fallen, so. <laughs> West of fallen. Well, let's take a break to appreciate Yemen <laughs> lovely well I'm glad he's actually schizophrenic and insane and cooperating with the Soviets I never thought I'd see those two backwards feudal state Soviet Yemeni tree <laughs> oh sorry guys the uh when the revolution came you guys were too busy drinking pumpkin spice lattes to truly really give off a fight I am so sorry. Maybe another day. At least we aren't the only civil war in mainland Europe. <laughs> Don't worry. I know how it feels, Jose. And Jose. Actually, it turns out, like, when they were playtesting, they knew that this is a railroad problem. So, well, there you go. I didn't, I didn't need to go in and actually build a goofy little train track. Eh, I'm all for railroads, so, you know. We, we may be, you know, Nazbos, but, uh... We still need to figure out what the hell a radio is. Haven't haven't quite cracked that one yet. 1936, you know, Germany. Oh, well, there we go. The last of the uh, 
Schmidtlerites have uh, died, and I, I was the one to inherit all that. You know what? I won't uh, complain. Sorry, Beck. But, uh, well, uh, sorry, I'm just much more ballin', as you can obviously see. I have the power of a much more receding hairline, you know? Oh, yes, the black front, a suspiciously dark shade of red, is slowly taking over. Why we have, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I guess... <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Konigsberg Leningrad truly was the heart of <laughs> Strasserism. Good lord. Anyways, where were we? Right. The true revolution of, of which I can't do anything. Oh come, oh, come on. I can do this. I can use my master skills to prove how, you know, I'm like better than the military officers at their own job, you know? Ho, ho, ho. Beautiful, isn't it? I like to think so. It gets me, I have, you know, almost 2,000 hours in this game, and it gets me giddy of joy every single time. 1947. Oh, I missed a 1936. Should have taken a screenshot. Shake my head. Okay, look, I, I don't want to talk about it again. Yo, 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 okay, no, no more, no Christmas truces here. Fraternization with the enemy? No, no, shoot them all. What the hell? Wait, we don't want to shoot their spells, so okay. Well, okay, that's absolute bull. Mm. Now you made me angry. Where is Hanover? Oh, you pieces of garbage. Is it? Is this guy right? Is this guy? Is this division one unit? I'm gonna shoot Franz Pfeffer von Solomon. I knew it. I knew it. Don't never trust a guy with Vaughn his name. I already got zero stability. I'm gonna continue to spread a uh, chauvinism. I mean, ain't it nice? The provisional government of ah, oh, that is too long. You just need a big word like black. For black front, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the war is finally over. <laughs> so many lives lost. Okay, but enough of that. Shit, we're about to become a lot more based. The civil war is over. Oh no, there goes most of my army. Anyways, I got their 4,000 guns, oh well. Boom, a lot of explosions, yada yada yada. But don't worry about that, we got one full division full of cool infantry divisions. Yes, and we will immediately re-mobilize all of those forces into our grand black army. You know, the whole shenanigans. Yes, where were we? Demobilize, uh, not, not really a big fan of that. Yes, here we are, continuing the German Revolution. Sorry, I don't get the communist guy. Is he... I got a feeling that this guy actually goes communist. Because he, he was kind of like a communist figure. Anyways, I got Marcus Wolf. Now, that isn't that Marcus Wolf, as in, you know, as in that Marcus Wolf, right? The Marcus Wolf from the, you know, Red Front mod, the German. Yeah, okay. But it doesn't matter. We're here. We're queer. And, uh,. Well, Poland kind of is dividing us right now, isn't it, hmm? Oh, I'm just over here making my proper divisions all nice and easy and support flamethrowers. I get they get some initiative bonus, some piercing bonus, and bonus attack 25% in urban. I'm just saying, I'm ready to commit some war crimes for those sweet bonuses. Hoorah, ladies and gentlemen, hoorah. Of course, I'm going to probably need to produce a lot more support equipment. Paid for it? Mm, oh, it's mostly artillery that I'm sucking, actually. Again, again, quick, quick! We gotta pay attention to the <laughs> the Middle East! Are you paying attention to Oman, or where was it, Muskrat? Where the heck is... <laughs> who, the, who the hell is that? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just, uh, oh, that's not the right name. There we go. 
perfect. Okay, now that we have that, I can go in here and once I get enough sexy PP, get not one, but two elusive gentlemen. Oh dear God, I am going to destroy the world. Or if uh, Strasser might get there before me, German revolution. As of course, if we regard as I and my friends do, Schmitty's system was a necessary transition from a decaying old order to a developing new one. As joyful and <laughs> hammer of God. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? All right, revolu re revolutionary, informed, conservative, in essence, is a policy that falls such consideration. Victory over Schmidt and his destructive system. Victory in this war with the destructive forces of destruction. There's no less certain that the advent of Schmidt in this war derived from the necessary uh, nature of the German Revolution. Well, we are now no longer the Brack Front, but the German People's State. Oh, beautiful. Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Looks like Italy is kind of sucking to suck at the moment, too. Mussolini versus the anti-fascist committee. Centrist? Oh, I'm all about that radical centrist revolutionaryism. I'm just saying. I will happily send volunteers to these fine gentlemen. Holy crap. Anarchist uprising in Italy. Well, it kind of sucks to suck. Yielding to ju uh Uh-oh. Well, that is interesting territory, isn't there? They really leave Saki- Don't tell me, don't tell me. Well, you know, I know what my next game is. Sakim versus India, yoo-hoo! Damn, son, anarcho-socialism, ho-hoo! Oh boy, there I go, federalization of Germany. What does that mean? I gave power up? Is that a good thing? I can't tell. But the more important thing is that I need to quickly settle the status of, uh... Oh uh, yeah. You know, I'm... It's a long story. I just want to figure out what the heck fate of Germans abroad means. Because if I want Austria, well, I mean, I, I just think that, you know, that'd be cool. Look at look at all those civvies. Look, look I'm, I'm not just a knockoff Schmitty, okay? I, uh, I mean, come on, come on, come on. We, uh, the, the, this was kind of Prussian stuff. I'm just, I'm just saying. Also, you know, war is uh, fun and uh, super cool and, yo? Dude, there's like a four-way civil war. What is, th what is this? How did you get Sardinia? Why are all these civil wars all of a sudden the worst mess in the world? I shouldn't be speaking. My civil war wasn't much better. Still, the, you know what? Never mind. What do you mean the people are content with the regime they're living in? Uh, it's oligarchic. That's bad. We, uh, we need the super cool revolution because uh, you're going to go, you're going to die in a, in a minor factory. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, you might be saying that's quite early and you'd be right because, well, I when you can spread chauvinistic sentiments and get minus 25% justification time, it's pretty useful. Anyways, my military super surge from the German Civil War is going to easily take out our Polish uh, brethren here. Sucks to... Uh, Sucks to suck there, Poland. Sorry about that. It's usually an easy one. Migration? You're trying to tell me people don't want to go to... <laughs> people don't want to come to my state when you might get conscripted into the army at a moment's notice? Oh, hogwash. Good to say, that's, that usually has some good stuff in it, and particularly steel, which I like. And uh, maybe they have some rubber refactories, because I haven't gotten around to really building... I should build, like, at least one. Like, in all honesty. See? Easy. Holy crap, that, no, no, that's like, that's like the fifth one. If, if the uh, other guys were still here, they, that'd be like fine. <laughs> Jesus, Lee. Even the fascists couldn't hold together. Europe sure is a mess in this timeline, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah. And uh, finally, no more Lend-Lease for you, Poland. But of course it didn't matter. I already took a Warsaw, almost, almost. And it is over, sorry. I hate to do these war crimes for you, but uh, maybe I'll make it up by playing a Poland video and doing the exact same thing to Germany. That would not that would be so much fun, wouldn't it? Honestly, like, what if I, and I should play like Poland to Millennium Dawn and just like, you know, you know, read like conquer Belarus and, and Ukraine, you know, because they aren't they aren't buddy buddy with Russia at that point. That'd be a funny video. I thought about doing that with Hungary because you know, that that'd be for like the meme, but you know, Poland. Now I think about it, would actually be a fun nation to do. Anyways, where was I? Right, uh, crushing said country. And of course, none goes to the Soviets because they're just chilling there with their politicized army and red army and however happy the Mongolian guy is. Ugh. You know, I've actually read up on him. He's a very interesting character because he, he like opposed Stalin at numerous points. And then of course he died because he opposed Stalin. It's a 
it's a, it's a whole thing. At least you're at least you're at least you're not this guy, aren't you? Oh, good golly! Would you look at that? So let's announce a national holiday, because well, we got our lands back, destroyed Poland almost, and uh, racked up a only a few half dozen casualties to half dozen thousand casualties for it. Oh, beautiful! That's that's got us up. See, we're doing so well. People want to flood into the country, migration. Um, or maybe because we're just literally conquering more people are probably should go. Yeah, same thing. Oh, Liberia wants a coup. Why? You know what? Sure, why? <laughs> oh my god, of course Zog's not gonna say- <gasps> Holy shit! Zog is beau- He's beautiful! He has no right to look that sexy. I'm sorry, Mussolini, but really, look at yourself in the mirror. Versus that. Well, that- that actually did work. Holy crap. The coup? Who's in leader? Oh. Ah. Hmm. He seems like a very interesting, fun character. I'm sure he's gonna help happily give back to the people. Come on, how could you not trust that? Oh, and well, you saw it there, folks. One and only. You know, well, we're uniting Germans, too, so that's fun. Let me take their ships, thank you very much, and steal all of their land. Probably. Ah. As just as ever, voila, <laughs> you're welcome. And of course we have liberated N Nikita Khrushchev. Ah, you see what I meant to do was, uh, there we go. Now they're my rightful puppets. Uh, ignore that. There we go. Perfect. See? Beautiful. Um, we're not going to act with force. That would be rude. Right, let's, we're just going to. You know, do regular stuff like uh, the League of Nations. I know that they will listen to me. Yeah, we're back in, boys. Well, uh, well, shit. I, I guess I didn't really know what I was expecting there. Oh well, we'll go to war in ten days. Right? Oh no, I gotta press it. Let me get my. Let me move my units first. All right, we're all go. Oh, huh. well, I guess that's more oil for us. Yep. <laughs> I get to stay in my war economy just a little bit longer. Well, I'm going to attempt to, well, uh, push for the most part. I have these cool things called tanks and armored car divisions, so, uh, they're, they're gonna be trying their auto saving, trying their best, which, which is quite good enough. <laughs> it's quite good. Man, this kind of, this German shape here kind of looks very familiar. Man, that really, that's just unfortunate. These, it's an armored car division, guys. It's not, it's not that good. Ah, anyways, that tank division, one on one, gonna beat him up. Yeah. How unfortunate, I must say. So the rest of the guys will be pumpling in there, and well, uh, expect the best, ladies and gentlemen. And we got what we kind of wanted, but you know, I always go for more, because, well, yeah, more is better. Gobbling up all their industry is quite easy, I must be honest. And oh, I am moving my capital to Regensburg, which is quite nice. Where is that? Is that, a, is that a historical capital of, of the Holy Roman Empire or something? I wonder. <laughs> Just kind of said, screw you, Berlin, and now it's here. Theoretically, I could move it anywhere else I wanted to. Uh, what's the funniest thing I can move it to? Danzig, probably. Ah, uh, yes, our war machine grows in Austria. Well, I think I'll happily annex that lovely territory. Thank you very much. And now, of course, we must move our guys. Hungary! Oh, I know they're so buddy-buddy with me, but I feel like, eh, I'm more of a, you know, horizontal integration kind of guy. Well, Germany, I'm glad we're all on the same page here. Oh, now th those, those borders look very familiar to you. I think they do. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, a certain, a certain Ante Bevelink is here to help us out. Oh, man, I'm sure that they are nice individuals. I'm sure that the lovely independent state of Croatia doesn't need the, you know, mining pit experience actually on second thought you know i i should have thought oh my god they're gonna join the allies i'm such an idiot and Cl clement atley interesting seeing you here i thought oh man of course but no they're joining <laughs> the sabbat back so looks like we're going on an even bigger adventure to iran no no uh no what's his nuts no uh no churchill you got <laughs> Clement Attlee, really? Actually, turns out I need to hold off a little bit. I, I don't exactly have the armed forces. I'm, I'm gonna pop out some more units, but uh, the hell's going on here? <laughs> what are you doing there? Raphael Lonias to home, Leah. You know, I'm, I'm I'm so glad they put the effort in to make a tiny little focus tree for Tuhilo. 
I'm probably... Yeah, I mean, I, I can speak Spanish. Trujillo, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Trujillo. The capital is... Uh, capital of the Dominican Republic. Oh, God. What is it? Oh, you... Oh, you named it. What What the hell? I'm glad my high school Spanish class taught me that the capital of Honduras was Tegucigalpa. Everyone needs to know that the capital of Honduras is Tegucigalpa. Don't you, don't you know that? Don't you know that? Come on. Of course, we should probably talk about the elephant in the room. The anar anarchists. They're really giving both Mussolini and the king a run for his freaking money. I don't know what happened to the, uh, to the, the fascist council, but they... They don't exactly exist anymore. How did, how did you get to Sardinia, boy? Okay, you're shitting with me. No. Yo, really? France? Re no. They can't say yes. They can't say yes. You, you idiot. <laughs> what did you do? Sorry, I gave it back. I can't, that's, that's just too easy. Come on. I'll keep the non-aggression. God damn. You serious? The hell's going on with you, boy? They hated that shit, didn't they? Well, maybe it is time for me to enter Auschwitz in a peacekeeping. You know what? No, no, no. It's still, still too easy. I got a Romania to destroy, anyways. Oh, turns out I didn't actually call my puppets, so now that they are in, I'm going to tell them to try to push and take out Hungary at least. I'm. Sure, I can can be able to do that, and of course, my small little light tanks, early guys, barely even equipped, are managing to wreak havoc on cavalry divisions. Turns out, your shitty little horse with a lance is not going to be able to pierce my light tank. Ow! Okay, please tell me there's a better option than, you know, the historical route. Wonderful news, ladies and gentlemen, I can build highways! Lovely. So, for 150 days, I have two less factories, and I got a building slot and a railway. Good shit. You know what? I will do this one for the LARP. Eh, you know what? Screw it. Why not? I'm a little, I'm feeling a little, uh, boisterous today, you know what I mean? A little, uh, a little constructive. Uh, don't mind that. We got, a uh, Greek tobacco. Lovely. Uh, lovely. And, well, the anarchists established their own order in Italy. It has come to an end. <laughs> Most unexpected outcomes. Anarchism. Wow. I wonder if the, the Pope's happy with this. You know, I don't know when this became uh, Kaiser Redux, but I'm not complaining. Anyways, we must continue our forefront frontal attack into Hungary. I'm hoping that I may be able to, well, do a bit of a blitzkrieg as we are so often known for. I will continue to push. Let me take a few stuff. If I can hold the front line while my guys wreak havoc like the ghost divisions they are. Sorry, Rommel died in the Civil War. Uh, maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to spin the tide. And would you look at that. Their cowardice and foolishness, stupidity and idiocracy has caused the Hungarian nobleman to be overrun by the Huns. Don't, don't, don't question the philosophy. And of course, Budapest has fallen right into the wonderful allied hands. Allied meaning socialist. Well, shit. I... <laughs> I got it anyways. Oh, I got it anyways. Why did the Basque County get to exist? They really just wanted to let that have freedom. Lovely encirclements. I knew I could do it. Ah, I'm actually having kind of fun. And, uh, um, I'm actually having a little bit of fun. Okay, I feel like I should say it for the record. I do not support this ideology or the people. I just think the little Dark Age edits I see on YouTube shorts are kind of cool. How, how the, how, how'd that happen? Ugh, looks like I actually need more war support. You guys, you guys really aren't fans of my super awesome conflict, my special military operation? I, I'm trying to be economically self-sufficient here. Also, it turns out that, um... I have really tiny recruiter. It's like, it's weird, but it's balanced out because one of the thing, but I really should focus on removing that because I don't have really a guy like guys because I'm not very popular. It's a whole thing. So we're just going to up that. Get in here and. You know what? I will be the wholesome individual now. I mean, come on. He, he, we both know that he wouldn't do this. It's such an easy way to gain people's trust as a leader of the nation. So, you know, it, it would only be to his benefit. But uh, I, I can change history with the click of a button because, oh boy, I play my little tiny Hoi 4 game. I move the little tanks around and I hum to myself. Eh, 
yeah, we're, ca you know, it's a, uh, whatever. <sighs> I can't, <laughs> big fancy words, right? Uh, man, so, so epic and based and, oh boy. All right, I'm going to quickly rush as fast as I can to this little supply of, please, 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 yes, please. Please, for the love of God, buy war bonds, ladies and gentlemen. What do you mean you're not supporting this? What do you mean? I... Wh wh what are you talking about? I got good news and bad news. Bad news is that revolutionary France is now, of course, socialist. Good news is... Well, I like socialism because I am kind of a socialist kind of guy, if you know what I mean. Not really, but you still get the idea. And the other good news is that they are Trotskyist. So, of course, Mr. Sh you know... Stalin mustache over here is it gonna be the most particularly supportive fan with an ideology like that yeah I just he probably ain't feeling it and to be honest it looks like I'm gonna be able to push this and oh man who could have predicted uh, yet another banger and uh, yet another easy one there we go might be able to encircle a few guys because of their own incompetence lovely uh hmm this faction seems cool but you know I'm more of a I kind of like war I like shooting people. I like kit knitting. I said that for the you know, content sensor. Oh boy, Hungary is another one biting the dust. Of course, I will take it. Uh, war reparations and uh, demilitarize. Uh... Now, nah, okay, I won't do that. I'll just uh, again steal it all. Gracias, amigo. As they say in the business, sucks to suck. And I believe that. Uh, Japan said that when they attacked Pearl Harbor. It's like a Yamamoto quote or something. Anyways, sucks to suck, Romania. You tried your best, but unfortunately, your conservatism got you nowhere. And oh, uh, <clears throat> don't look at those. Yes, the people state has grown exponentially, and I only can anticipate its wealth expanding further. Eh, this Trotskyism really is going to be easy to crap on, isn't it? Now, nah, nah, hold on, I'm not... Nate taking all of it. I'm only taking all of it so I can release puppets. There's a difference. Ah, uh, yes, I completed National Autarky. Still don't know what an autarky is. It's been in the game since day one, but, uh, oh well. Who cares? I'm all about that hashtag trade union democracy, baby. Well, I mean, there's only one trade union, and it's state run, and you can't strike, but don't worry about it. Oh, I can't possibly forget those hashtag resource rights, too. Lovely. <laughs> Mal. Moldovian National State Legionary Romania. Oh, it's it's a whole it's a whole nine yards. Now I just gotta kick the Egyptians out of mainland Europe. Yeah, it's a it's a whole thing. But I don't exactly ex expect. How the hell do I get here? There you go. I don't exactly expect Afghanistan to be providing the highest elite forces in all of the world. You know, what are you doing there, Egypt, you sly dog, you cheeky bugger? <laughs> Do I really have to chase you through the Macedonian mountains? All right, lovely, all of mainland Europe has been liberated. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, I'd go as far as to say that me, I got a little bit of Mediterranean access, so you know, it ain't all in vain. Beautiful, isn't it? My domesticity spe- Well, actually, I don't have a faction yet. That's kind of disappointing. Okay, so, 10, uh, I, it was like 10% aspiration of revolutionary fervor, revolutionary Marxism. Let's see how many Trotskyists there are. <laughs> what the hell? I swear, there, there's there got to be more, you know, anarchy. Okay, no, there really isn't, but you know. Man, I feel like my point still stands. <laughs> I like how the majority of the fascist country in the world are just, <laughs> are mine. Except for, uh, except for, except for Salvador there. And, and the one and only, holy crap, he did it! Don't mind me, just doing some foreign shenanigans in Liberia. I, I have all, all six rubber licenses. Oh, oh, Finland, Finland, see, I'm not the only one going to war with people. Yeah, you know, it would be really funny if I, uh, you know, went to an app. Oh my god, honestly, it's ruining my joke. Oh, uh, went down and just, uh, you know, that probably wouldn't be helpful. I mean, can I not send volunteers? Oh, right, I'm still at war with fucking Afghanistan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before the Great War begins, I decided that I must quickly take down a few more guys. Now, revolutionary France led by that Trotsky. Whoa. Huh. What happened to... The revolutionary Marxists were disbanded. Sorry, guys, it's all anarchism now. That's a... That was a quick change of plan, wasn't it? I mean, I'm still going to be easily wiped. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, 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 what the hell? To be honest, when it comes down to it, 
I'm probably going to need to take these guys out sooner rather than later because, well, you know, they might overtake me sooner rather than later. All right, I'm going to make some interesting medium tanks here now that I have the ability and capability. Well, I don't really have much of a production capacity to, you know, give away, but surely once I take out a few of my neighbors, I'll have more guys. And now I finally have all the, where the hell did I go? Formation of ideology. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. Oh, I know how my industry going. It's uh, it's being poured into my collaboration governments because uh, you know I'm doing one in the United States and whatever the hell that French rag is. So here's the thing: the French built their uh, uh, the French built some of their own fortifications along the border. So now I may have the Maginot because of their poor choices in planning, but uh, they, they got a couple of forts too. So I'm thinking of a logical way to break that. Oh, why goodness gracious. Thank you, Slovakia. Economic relations, that's word for, that's key, key word for stealing all their in industry equipment and importing it to my nation. Dude, I'm just, I've bought so many light tanks. It's, it's unreal, man. Like seriously, hold on. Yeah, I got immediately to my stockpile and you'll go look at my divisions like right here. Voila. Generic tanks. All right, so I decided, you know who will spill the blood? My Eastern European puppets. So they're going on a quick trip to see the pyramids of Giza and uh, slaughter anyone who happens to be in our way, just like Napoleon. Ah, uh, yes, the true revivalist of the West. No? Yeah, kinda. In other words, these divisions are absolute dog shit, but I have so many of them that maybe the Egyptians and their tiny little industry will not be able to absolutely comprehend it now if we could see or uh, secure any sort of port you know i feel like that that'd be an overall good sign and in an extremely funny set of circumstances guess what mr socialist clement attlee has declared war on the iranian people's republic why because well reza shah gave them you know the oil rights right god damn this is a mess how the hell did this happen anyways uh <laughs> jesus iraq you just f f fulfilled Saddam Hussein's dreams. No, don't worry. I am coming to save my expeditionary force and his exact twin brother, <laughs> Samuel Hartman's twin brother, Paul Wolf, is coming over with his fancy war crime machines to help save the day. Which one is his? That's the inner one. There you go. Lovely. I'll make it yellow for the color of fire. It's probably not going to be all too useful, but it will be funny. Well, it <laughs> looks like the whole Egyptian army is no use for my powerful western forces yeah oh 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 do you see that hold on i made a little listen wait 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 wait, wait, wait. listen 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 god damn it why is the game there you, go. you see that's cool that's cool time to use these super fancy flame flowers and do a julius caesar and burn down alexandria well it was been a pretty fun ride destroying egypt but uh, i feel like i gotta I gotta come full circle now. Anarcho syndicalism, here I come. I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared. How easy is this gonna be? Ouch. Oh, it turns out Egypt was the head of the faction, so could have waited a little bit longer not to be at war, bruh. All right, sure, it's a bit lopsided, I must admit, but we're we're making steady progress. We just need to break their stupid little fort lines and their stupid little mountains and their stupid little forests. Oh, geez, 2016 Russia role play. Well, might as well make it double trouble. And, uh, I have no, nothing to worry on this side. I, I should be wary about that, shouldn't I? About Stalin in my flank, my Ukrainian soil. I know that they, uh, he particularly kind of hates this region, doesn't he? All right, let's see who wants to join my super cool faction. The, 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 the Finn, the Fen. Whoa. You're trying to tell me. <laughs> yeah. Why, why do Ukraine say no? So who's in it? Holy shit. Really? What the fuck? Turned to fascism? When did the... Who else did? Greece? Did they turn to... When did this shit happen? Well, I kind of want to... Wait, ser like seriously, like... Oh, I gotta look at my foot. Mm... Nope, yep. Yeah. Norway, Sweden... And I know that Finland was for a while. Okay, Norway joined. That's so... Oh. What the hell? Goddamn, I wasn't expecting that. 
but uh, unfortunately I'm probably going to have to kick them. Sorry, as much as I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, fascism and all that, that's out of context. I'm going to have to take those guys over directly. At least Ireland jo joined and, and so, so did Bass County. So, you know, if you ever want terrorism, well, you join the FN FN. Okay, you guys can go suck my ball. Well, it's Joe over. Ho, ho, ho. We're going to need some tanks out, but more importantly, these, uh, yeah, just, uh, don't. Don't, don't worry about that. Even with overwhelming military might on their side, I simply have more, you know, industrious peoples that I am exploiting. Don't, oh shit. Well, I guess you can add incompetent leadership to that list. No, you don't understand. War is very much in your favor, common man person who's gonna get sent to the battlefield. Oh my god, I, okay, at least I'm, I'm super close. I just, I mean like then I'll be able to chill and I, I just should, Anti-German aggression united front of the people's sphere for co-prosperity development. What the? What the fuck? Okay. <clears throat> the Anti-German Association United Front People's Sphere of Co-Prosperity Development and Development League Assistance Alliance and Military Coalition of Similar Interests. Well, as you can tell, I'm very funny. But I also want a bit of a challenge. So get in here, Italy. I have no units on your front. That would, that's going to be concerning. Hey, Hungary, how much do you got? Jesus, you guys are worthless. I give you Transylvania, and this is how you repay me? Oh, wait, no. They're already all here. My bad. Hope these Ukrainians really do like the cold mountains, because, oh, do I have a wonderful new assignment for you. Hell yeah, I just beat up these guys and <laughs> suck it, Ooh, Clement Attlee. New German tanks. Oh, yeah, I mean, I... I kind of waited to do literally any of this. Um, yeah, is this sh this shit is really turning into World War One right here? I, I I don't know why France is so powerful all of a sudden. Jesus Christ! It's the power of a command account. It's not even command. It's anarchism. What the hell? Oh Christ! That was. Oh my God! That took so so long to finally root them the hell out of here. Oh my God! And now I can finally take this army group, move it to somewhere more. U no, 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 no. All right, where's the tanks? Medium tanks, go, 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 go. I desperately need experienced men to the south, gentlemen, please. Fuck no. I. Liberia, hey, do you want a guarantee about two years ago? You know what? Sure, sure, I get resources. Goddamn bastard. I'm, I'm not going to war with freaking Japan. Do not give a shit. You're on your freaking own. <laughs> Stop with the LARP. Stop, stop it. The love of God. You see, I have a delightfully devilish idea, one I don't think people like you could possibly comprehend, and that is, well, I just encircled a lot. That's a lot of communists, or a lot of anarchists. Come on, out of all the people, I should not be the one confusing that. I'm not like a boomer on Facebook who thinks liberalism is communism. I, trust me, I'm smarter than the average American, okay? Oh man, I wish I could have just seen the 32 divisions that I just swiped out, but that yeah, wasn't fast enough. These 19, 11, whatever, does just for ooh, yeah. I, I, I trust me, I haven't been pushing much into Italy, so that uh half a million is just from this. H how is that even a French last name? What Soscano? It, it, it sounds Finnish. I'm curious now. I'm gonna look that up. If that's a French name, I'm gonna be really disappointed in the in the French because that just that just doesn't seem French. We be baguette, uh, um, uh, you know Lafayette or Massasi or something 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 like that. Not Saskano. I, I, I swear to God, this dude must have spent time in Japan or something. Well, shit. I. You know that makes sense. He's a Russian-born American anarchist. That makes sense, doesn't it? Well, now I'm going to a deep dive about this one guy's name. It's Ukrainian. How funny. I'm the one who's, who's using hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian in my war. And yet, well, uh, looks like he isn't going to survive much longer, is he? Yeah, I'm I'm a little confused on the thought process on this one. Oh, I, I forgot about... I forgot about it. Is that who I think it is? Guys, I feel like 
The world's kind of crumbling around me right now. You know, I want to see what happens if I take Paris. Does it move around? Does it fall? Does they capitulate? Not really. Uh, it doesn't matter what ideology, but France will go through leaders like it's World War One trench warfare charges again and again and again. Oh my God, who who is this guy? Sebastian. Well, uh, gracias, Jose, for <laughs> for helping me out crush France. I, still, they're still alive. And, and where did, did they core out? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. What? Oh, yeah, I'm unifying Europe and creating my own little autarky. Yes, uh, talk about a super... <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about a base European Union, but <laughs> this ain't it, Chief, this ain't it. Shut up. I don't want to hear about it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Holy crap. I, uh, I don't know. I have so many factories, but here's the thing. The, the Soviet Union, what the hell? Oh my god, Stalin. Stalin's gotta write this. Remember King Zog? I gave him a shit bunch of land from Serbia because he asked for it. I said, sure, that'd be funny. Now fucking Bulgaria, Stalinism took over. Oh uh, yeah. You see that? You see that African colonial army? Well, bada bing bada boom. It exists and it... Does it have cores? No. Well, damn, I kind of wish it actually did have more cores. Okay, I got my I got my nuclear power plants. I got my bomb. Well, uh, you'll see it. When you have as many research slots as I do, having a uh, rushing for the nuclear bomb actually kind of seems. I just nuked my own guys. Holy shit. Well, I destroyed my own territory. Isn't that lovely? They're not at all ironic. No, oh, man, I do. I'm I'm winning. I'm actually winning. I'm so excited. I mean. Oh, Jesus, I'm getting sunk by the Royal Navy. You gotta be fucking with- Good thing I got these goody-goody strategic bombers to just nuke any sort of railroad or infrastructure in the lowlands. I want to flood the country myself. I don't know if they retreated, I don't know what happened, but looking at that low supply over here, I'm saying that I'm winning.
I seriously cannot tell what's happening. Maybe if I go to the intelligence thing, you can see a little bit better. There you go. No, not really. It's a massive man. Oh, it looks like, did Algeria just like declare their independence and that's how France finally kicked the bucket? I guess so. Uh, where was I? Right, my sexy navy. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I did. I kind of maybe gave myself all like 200 of the most latest equipment in the form of strategic bombers, but I think I accidentally gave myself super heavy battleship. I would not have a navy otherwise. So I'm gonna take this as is. But for the record, I did cheat, sorry. I, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck I did. It looks like France's downfall is that I think they released all their nations as puppets or, or just as like a communist thing, like releasing all their African stuff. And that's where their cores were. So that's what got them. Now that's funny. Now, do you think I could take on the Soviet Union? I, I have no idea at this point, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Uh, I still gotta take care of uh, the Commonwealth. I won't say anything. All right, what happens if I go because of my my super heavy? I'm so sorry about that. I I wouldn't be. I would just leave them alone otherwise, and it wouldn't be that funny. But sorry, no skill. Yeah, I've been playing this game for a little too long at this gaming session. I'm tired. Working a lot. I just want to be funny. And if using medium tanks for amphibious invasions and count, well, then I'm sure it's all gonna. You guys are goddamn idiots. What the hell, Britain? Well, I did that. I'm still waiting on my nuke. It's gonna be done in a month, two, maybe three. But uh, I didn't need it to take London, so congratulations, Strasser. You did it. The UK gets fall of London. Ugh, boom. How lovely. USA is just. What the hell is the USA doing? You know, would be, you know what would be really funny? I feel like staging a rebellion in South Carolina is only fitting. So, uh, while I invade the UK, I would say, you know, we have to help out our friend here. So, join war is Soviet-Swedish war. I'm very scared. Not going to... Oh, uh, which one? Soviet... And so... I won't leave Rom... I won't bring Romania in because I... This mountain is a pain in my ass. But, uh, let's see. How do we do? Oh, shit. Is it because they're all up here? Is it because I'm awesome? Is it not awesome? Finland, I, I know you want to join in, buddy. I know you really do. They said yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, call to arms, Soviet-German war. Get your ass in here. Uh, and now I fight a two-front war, but in a much more funny way. I'm so, I seriously, I'm so sorry about that. It would have been more funny. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm still going to get, uh, it's, oh, I know what's happening. It's stealing all my fucking oil. That's the funny thing. Have you guys been laughing about, have you guys been laughing about that? Is that, is, do you think that's funny? I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm looking through right through your screen. You probably think that's funny. You probably think I'm funny. I'm, well, that, that's kind of my job, but, uh, whatever. Estonia is just chilling. All I've been doing is micromanaging the plane game over here. It's very, it's very tight. I'll tell you that. And, uh, finally with this push, I can do that. Good lord, might need to hold off for just a hot minute over here in Britain. And now I can make a POW camp in Wales or something. Oh, oh, that's so nice. I didn't even need to take Scotland and I get all these. Is that, is that, a, is that a Bob Semple? Good lord. Okay. Ooh, nice. I'm on a mission to take over every single ship in the world, which I pretty much just did. And then I guess I'll uh, kind of take everything else, right? And with that, bada bing, bada boom, it's, oh god, this is gonna be bad. All right, lovely. Even the Dutch East Indies are back up. All right, yeah, I should probably give some stuff out now. All righty, I, I was a nice guy. I gave back Northern Ireland. I released Wales and Scotland. I gave a lot of stuff to my African colonial company puppet. I don't no, ignore that. I released Pakistan, new Mughal Empire. Ho, 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 Bangladesh. India, called German India, German East Indies, and, uh, well, I'm keeping New Zealand to myself. Now, one question. The, the, the fuck happened here? What, what magical dwarf magic 
occurred in New Zealand. I swear to God, it's more freaking developed than Paris or... What? All right. I gotta... F what? We got okay. Who's up next? Who's up next? Turkey, Soviet Union, Israel, Liberia. Liberia? Oh, the table turns. I'm finally against my age-old enemy. How sad. But it looks like Spain might be taking care of them for them. And that's very interesting, to be honest. But I think what's more interesting is just... <laughs> you really chose to name yourself that. That's what the anarchism is called. I thought the whole thing about anarchism was, was breaking chains. Oh, God, the game lags in ever I <laughs> I have so many puppets. It's not very funny. But I needed them so I can go to war through the Balkans. There we go. Turkey will be no more. You wait, socialist Kamalism. Now that's my favorite ideology. Ah, yes. Skill issue. The Finns have taken back St. Petersburg. You know what? That's all yours, man. If you can keep it, that is. Let's see, another push. Uh, where's my tanks? Right here, right? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm telling you. Trying to rush along the railroads, right? There should be one from Smolensk. Yeah, to the Moscow. I take Moscow and the whole the whole system practically collapse, you know what I mean? It's not quiet on the Western Front. It's chaotic as hell, man. And uh, I'm very glad that they... I'm going to take this moment to stop and appreciate the fact that Paraguay, Peru is in a three-way civil war. Anarchist authoritarians. Socialism. Yeah. Oh, listen to the w sound of war, my friends. Don't you just love it? Oh, I should move my airplane, shouldn't I? Yes, yes. I, if I was listening to the Sigma-based radio play, which I'm not. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Man, if, uh, <laughs> the perfect girl wasn't, uh, copyrighted, I'd be playing that song right now. Just to show you how emotional this is for me. I'm trying to start a revolution here, ladies and gentlemen, and some people just aren't appreciative of it. Now, to get get the super cool Zaste Revival of the West, hoorah, and I gotta reject Prussian militarism. Sweet. Ah, uh, the West. Finally, we are avenging ourselves from being known as the guy who built huts while the Romans built aqueducts. We are now the ones. We're exterminating people at a massive scale. Alright, October 43, we're doing well, we're doing well. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god. I, you, I can barely tell because our colors are so similar and that's gonna suck. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Don't tell me I was encircled. I can't even t Okay, I'm not encircled through here. But, it might be of importance to make sure that this doesn't happen. Oopsies. Oh, I hate all these fucking little mountains, Jesus. Okay, the Eastern Front is going all right. We're we're chugging along. I can I uh, we're nearing Moscow, which is good. Really close, actually. I wasn't paying attention, and it looks like their stuff is really going right. <laughs> the the good thing is is that since I have um, Belarus and Ukraine, and they have cores and stuff, I don't have to deal with resistance, and thus I have good supply. So I know a little bit of a cheat, but whatever. I wasn't really thinking that far ahead, so you, you can't really say I'm. I was being insidious, uh, you know, you know, cheeky. Uh, the Super Happy Battleships was an actual accent, too. I swear. Oh, boy. Uh, two things. Cameroon, it's gone. But more importantly, Moscow. We're at our doorstep. You know, I feel like, you know how, like, sucks to suck for Japan, too. <laughs> you know how Japan, are like, you build a huge empire in Asia, no one knows until it's too late. I feel like that's what's happening with Spain right now. What the hell, Spain? Oh, now that, that's just beautiful. Those colors are way too similar, good lord. But yeah, you get the idea. We have all green, baby. Kind of, almost. Soviet Union, it's mine. Oh, I, th I thought they were socialists. What are you talking about? Muscat, no. What, where? Wait, wait. Oman? The Omani Empire. Frankincense trade, that's nice. Don't worry, guys, we can applaud them because, well, they banned slavery. Good on you, Oman. Not gonna lie, socialism in one country is pretty powerful. I can't tell if I'm slowing, am I loot winning? Or am I slowing them down? What's going on here? I gotta get to Stalingrad first, guys. I need to, come on. This is, this is the Soviet Union. I can probably, I could beat these guys, right? 
If they can be beat by McDonald's and Red Square, I think that I can beat them with a few tanks. Come on. Holy shit. Ah, uh, we are in the Holy Land, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, my hope is that they will capitulate relatively soon. Do I need to take Tel Aviv? I, sh I should really take Tel Aviv. I gotta... Yeah. I, I, I keep forgetting about this because I'm trying to micromanage up here and then also the mess that is here. What if I just turn on the factions? That doesn't help. And their little farming communities are gone. Sorry. <gasps> Let me take the entire Italian Navy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There we go. The Holy Land is mine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, peace on Earth, right? Oh, one resounding success is that our Navy is kind of ballin' for the mo- Ooh, I mean, our Navy is kind of ballin' for the most part. Ooh, Hungary is finally being restored to its natural borders, clamping down on Bulgaria. Still no idea what's happening here. Actually, that kind of simplifies it just a tad. My army here should think about kicking them out of Sicily. Finally, the Greece. Yeah, stupid colonization efforts, right? This ain't a, this ain't a, the you know, before Christ, guys. Come on. Anyways, I'm going to try to beat up Syria and the gang. Uh, and I was hoping I could get one of these units out. Don't, don't tell me how to pitch a that. That would be stupid. Like, come on. Like, it's just, I'm, I was just, I'm patient because I don't really care. And I really want this guy to, how long does it take? Ooh, my Ukrainian divisions propped out again. My, I do not care about this guy. <clears throat> Indian divisions are here now. So I'm going to be able to spread those out. I believe I'm running out of possible people to field marsh to, to, to equip because you need CP, but I only have 130 CP, so eventually I'm going to reach max, you know? Oh, you have no idea how long it's actually taken, because we had it encircled. I was trying to encircle it, but oh well, it's in my hands now. But I feel like the war was already a long time ago lost for them. I got to retake you of Ukraine. I'll get some manpower for my Ukrainian divisions. Estonia is just chilling, having a great time. Oh my god, I need to take out the Soviet Union and Turkey, right? What the fuck? And just because I'm a little bit of a trolling guy, I shall nuke. I, sh I, I said I shall nuke Stalingrad. Boom. Nuclear bomb detonated, destroyed all supply. Lovely. Mutinies, gentlemen, we're so close. We'll hold a patriotic speech. They're, of course, going to come in. For Ooh. There goes all my hard battle, hard one luck. God damn. Come on, I thought I had good ships. Anyways, uh... Where, where's the Syria army? this guy, right? He's all dead. Where did all his guys go? Alright, the point being, we are pushing so hard. I just pushed back Denmark. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that alert. Yeah, get, get your... Uh, or, no, it's this guy. Sorry. Ooh, split them in half. Bada boom. Take out Denmark in a second. I'll micromanage that. Take out, uh, now I got Moscow. So Gorky and then Kubishki or whatever. And then Stalingrad should be it. I mean, it should push it over the barrel. If not, you push up to the Urals. I don't want to have to take Tashkent. Okay, I finally decided to make use of the, uh, the front lines here. So that is going to be very nice. I'll tell you that. Ooh wee mama. Oi, wankers. That's not very nice to my friend Finland. Bob Hindenburg seized Stalingrad. Is it they renamed Hindenburg? Oh, it did. That was too quick then. Seized Stalingrad is now named Hindenburg. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is such a pain. I just... Is the game's going so, so slow. But I, I just want to have peace in our time. It's like my thing. Come on. And also a little sneaky shenanigans surprise there for Ruzo. Oh, the German people state has staged a coup in the America. The fire of the revolution burns. Oh boy, the free American empire. People are mad at the New Deal. I'll just tell you that. William Pudley. Mudley, whatever. All right. So, how's it, how's it faring? It might. So, I can't turn factions. However, I can't help him at all. Can I send him like eight quadrillion guns? I think I am very capable of producing eight. Oh, wait, am I a 
No, no, I have a lot of guns. Okay, I'm going to send so many tanks, guns, armored cars, tranks, oh, my own M1 Garands that I somehow have for some strange reason, and why? 9,000 elephants, because you can never have enough elephants. There you go, made them a bit bigger, though it's probably going to not matter. Uh, don't, uh, yep, and it's now named the, uh, shit face and yeah, boom done yeah i know we're crazy like that so let me just uh take in the view <sighs> how close so close is the capital still freaking central air okay time to go oh my god okay okay so close so close 96 percent pushed i encircled oh my god and there's still i still feel like i haven't nicked a hole in them at all We've reached the point where I'm I'm running around the steps of, you know, Asia and Siberia and stuff. It's kind of crazy. I broke all the way through. It's just kind of free going at this point. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can take... There's a tank here, right? Take this guy. Okay, keep having... He's already came so far. Might as well go the full way. I know he's not following the railroads, but... Uh, do not really care. You know what? I'll tell the other guy to go up and secure this railroad in the town of... Do men. Ladies and gentlemen, 100% capitulation. How many casualties is that? Six million to three. Good heavens, sir. And all these guys just gonna go bada bing, bada. No? It's kind of anticlimactic. And there you go. Soviet Union is gone, dead, whatever you want to call it. And I am finally at peace. I can't even take the whole navy. What the hell, man? Finally. After God knows how long, I, I'm not going to even bother fighting this American Civil War for you guys. Boom. We are done. Actually, I'm not even actually done done yet. I gotta... Sorry, guys. I can't progress down my tree anymore because I'm at war freaking Madagascar. Sorry. As I was saying, boom. Revival of the West. Oh, fuck. It, it, I reloaded the focus tree and everything, and it didn't even it just cut off. God damn. Anyways, you see it. Uh, where, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Voila. Revival of the West, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, because I am super based in Giga Pill. All right, thank you so much for watching. We got a huge, juicy faction right here. It's way too big. But you get it. The German state is here. Strasser is here to stay. And uh, he's ready to be like super cool or something oh it's, it's so anticlimactic little thing but you saw it thank you so much for watching uh we got comey kazakhstan it's, you know, it's all the cool stuff right uh well whatever i am biggest guy ever and i have way too much garbage thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day sorry this video is later out school is coming up you know or school is in session and we're doing all my tests and such um Thank you so much for watching. Stalin lives. Uh, and I hope you guys have a, a wonderful day. Ooh, peace. Thank you so much for watching. And I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much to Aaron Moon Unit, Moonwalking Roosevelt, Antonia Law 2021, Casual. Oh, nothing more can be said. And of course, Bo Nicky. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Peace. I like Order. it! And I love it!